Hello everyone, so what I have here for you today is the DC motor speed control using Ward Leonard method which is one of the most inefficient method I have ever known because it incorporates as you can see the three phase induction motor which is coupled to a DC generator which is feeded, feeding a DC motor and all of them have their own core loss and copper loss now i am not gonna use for this experiment the dc shunt motor or dc separately excited motor instead i'm gonna use the permanent magnet motor because obviously i do not own a dc shunt motor in my lab and neither do i have three phase supply right now in my lab so in place of three phase induction motor i'm gonna use the single phase shaded pole induction motor so let's get started here is the setup for the ward Leonard method and as you can see the prime mover is a single phase induction motor which is a shaded pole induction motor and this is a permanent magnet motor which is 1.89 ampere 4.8 volt low voltage high current DC generator it basically it is a DC motor acting as a generator and this is the switch yard to demonstrate the switching of the supply and here is the low torque high speed DC motor load. Now let's power it up. Oh, also this is the variable register control and I'm gonna keep it constant because of course we need the maximum power point operation and this is the open terminal for testing purpose. Let's turn on the supply and as you can see with supply active there is a slight problem of starting torque because this induction motor cannot generate the starting torque of three phase induction motor but it can hold up to the running torque now let's power it on it's already on and as you can see the motor is rotating the way you can tell is the marker position constantly changing if you can see as you can see this is the stationary one and now it's rotating stationary and it's now rotating stationary so this is the overall setup for the ward Leonard method now as you can see this is the core of the induction motor and it is getting pretty hot for a shaded pool induction motor which is already inefficient now the DC generator has its own copper loss in case I ignore the core loss and the DC motor also has its own copper loss which uh, cannot be ignored in a pr practical scenario so this is you know, all in all the inefficient method of controlling the dc motor speed also by varying the resistance i can control the voltage so that is why this is the variable resistor control now turning it on once again you can see the dc motor is running with a lower rpm so this means that for example if this induction motor can generate up to 25 watt the only output power i get is 5 watt so this is the overall setup for ward leonard method thank you please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel for more upcoming videos